That's not snow falling on you. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Chernobyl, the recent HBO series that just came to an end, and at least to say that series was really, really good. Not just as a gripping narrative, not as just as a true story retelling, but a whole entire package. Everything from the acting, to the writing, to the attention to detail and being historically correct, to the final outcome. Each one of these episodes has its own purpose, its own narrative, its own sort of part of the story. I've always had a fascination with the events of Chernobyl. I've watched multiple documentaries, I've watched several videos, little snippets, little testimonies here and there. I've read a few books, including The Truth About Chernobyl by Gagori Medivid. Everything in this show is probably the most realistic interpretation of the event in its entirety that I've ever seen put on film. Some of the documentaries I've seen, as well as the drama docs, the one that has the kind of the reinterpretation of the events, have never gotten this close. And that's two things. One is because of budget. They've never had an HBO budget. And two, they've never had the ability to go through the length of it. They've never had the time span to go into this. This is about a five, almost six hour long story about this event. The first episode is about basically the first hour after the explosion happens. Maybe the first two, including what happens inside the reactor, what happens inside the building, as well as the firefighters. The second episode is when they really get serious and they start to realize what has actually happened and they start to work towards preventing absolute disaster. The third episode is the fallout. We're seeing the effects of radiation on people's bodies, as well as the continued threat that the reactor still holds, that the accident still holds to the rest of Russia. The fourth episode continues that more so with focusing more on the entire operation to clean this whole thing up, wrapping things up, taking care of wildlife and whatnot, as well as, again, focusing more so on what caused it, what has affected other people. And the final episode, so it is a courtroom proceeding basically of what happened but so it's a basically a full circle i enjoyed every episode the first episode is so good the first episode shows a lot of things that i've read about and i've seen photos of are basically heard interpretations of but never seen it to this extent on screen for instance they show the rubble the it explodes the wall that has blown off the pieces of graphite that are on the ground documentaries have done this to an extent and there is this one photo of the destroyed wall. Again, they've never really been able to bring this over into a show. Seeing the inside of the reactor core, their visual interpretation of it, that's essentially what I've always imagined. So to see it like that in a show that can have the budget to show that was really awesome. Seeing the blue light, the spire, and then again, seeing the effect of radiation has on people. One of the reasons why I hate A Good Day to Die Hard so, so much is they made some MacGuffin tool that apparently you can suck up radiation with a vacuum cleaner and ooh, that really pissed me off. So to see radiation, the effects on humans' bodies, to show what happens to them, in the most brutal form was so refreshing to see. And it's a horrible thing to say that I'm kind of happy that they showed it this way, but it's so respectful to show the actual damage that this shit caused. Hollywood has never gotten radiation poisoning right. They've gotten it close, but they've never gone the full way with it. So to see it happening in this show was, again, very, very realistic. Fantastic makeup job. Absolutely horrifying images. We'll never forget them. Jared Harris. Great to see him in it. It's no coincidence that he's in a fantastic miniseries once again. He plays the lead investigator, more so the guy who fixes everything. He implements all of these plans to help basically save Ukraine and all of northern, western, eastern Europe. So to see the problems that he goes through, not just with the government and their hubris and their lacking will to, to to accept what's happening, but also his own personal conflicts with basically ordering a bunch of people to do jobs that will essentially kill them. Now the hubris idea of the government and just their lack of knowledge of radiation and nuclear power plants in general, as well as their willingness to accept that something's actually happened that may actually be bad. It was a big focus in this book too. In this book, Gagori talked about how 
not only was Russia, but the West were unwilling to accept problems with their own power plants in the beginning. He mentions two incidents actually in this book that happened before Chernobyl, one of them being in Leningrad with again the RBMK reactor nearly causing a meltdown, as well as the Three Mile Island incident that happened in the US. Both events were heavily downplayed, especially the one in Russia. So when a lot of these guys in this reactor room, they're all young, they had no idea what they were doing, they had barely any training, and as well as they didn't realize what could possibly happen. And just the absolute stubborn idiocy that the Russian government had when it came to nuclear power plants and the absolute risk that these things could have if they were made improperly, made cheaply, and inefficiently maintained. Everything about this show is just so well done. There's no action in it. There's no real high stakes, like big explosion timer, try to save this before it blows up. It is all real. And that's probably what makes it so good is that it's coming across obviously a little dramatized, obviously in terms of how the conversations, how the shots are being set up, but you can still believe this all happened because it did. All of this is almost fact for fact. So to see it being presented in a truthful and respectful manner is once again fantastic to see. I enjoyed this series immensely. If you're interested in any sort of man-made disaster sort of narrative, you will definitely enjoy this. This is one of the worst in the entire history of the human race. And it changed the entire principle of how nuclear power plants are built and maintained now. So this had a massive colossal effect on the world. It's probably one of the causes to the downfall of the USSR in the long run. So I am going to give Chernobyl, the miniseries by HBO, a seven out of seven. Eh, funny enough that Jared Harris once again gets in a seven out of seven series. Everyone in the show should be nominated for something when it comes to the award season. Director, writer, crew, just fantastic job by everyone. So I definitely enjoyed this series and I definitely recommend it. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.